This one is another little golden book of Walt Disney's. It's called The Sorcerer's Apprentice. Long, long ago, there lived a powerful sorcerer who had a young apprentice named Mickey. Every day, the little apprentice swept the floors, polished the sorcerer's crystal ball, and carried water from the well to the sorcerer's magic pool. Late one afternoon, a bat was fluttering around the sorcerer's head. As Mickey watched, the sorcerer raised his arms and said, Mutatus! The bat magically turned into a beautiful butterfly. But the trick had tired the old sorcerer. He yawned and put his sorcerer's hat down upon the table. Then he slowly walked up the stone steps to his bedchamber. Mickey was alone in the sorcerer's workshop. Mickey couldn't take his eyes off the sorcerer's hat. He crept to the sorcerer's workbench, held the mysterious hat in his hands, and then placed it on his head. At that moment, Mickey felt full of magic. Mickey looked around the workshop. There against the wall stood his old broom. <clears throat> As he had seen his master do, Mickey raised his arms and said, Mutatus, the broom began to glow. At Mickey's command, the broom's handle sprouted arms and its straw divided into two legs. The broom had come to life, but would it obey the commands of a young apprentice? Pick up the buckets, Mickey said. The broom obeyed. Mickey led the broom to the well. Fill the buckets here, Mickey ordered. Once again, the broom obeyed. Carrying the two buckets of water, the broom followed the little apprentice back to the sorcerer's magic pool. Empty the buckets here, Mickey told the broom. Then do it all over again. Back and forth went the broom from the well to the pool, feeling very pleased with himself. Mickey climbed up onto the sorcerer's chair to relax while the broom did his work. It wasn't long before the little apprentice was asleep and dreaming. Mickey dreamed that he was the most powerful sorcerer in the universe. At his command, the stars danced and the planets whirled through the sky. Far below the mountaintop, the oceans raged and roared at Mickey's command. Higher and higher the waves crashed until M Mickey felt the cold, wet spray of the water. Splash! This was no dream. The magic pool was overflowing. The enchanted broom had done Mickey's work all too well. Stop, shouted Mickey. The broom did not stop. It marched right over Mickey, dumped more water into the pool, and went back to the well. Mutatus, cried Mickey, but the broom did not obey. It filled its buck buckets instead. Frantic, Mickey snatched an axe from the wall and waited for the broom to return with its brimming buckets. Then he raised his arms and chop, chop, chopped the broom into a thousand splinters. All was silent for only a moment. Suddenly, each splinter jumped off the floor, sprouted arms and legs, and became a broom. And each broom carried two buckets. The army of brooms with its hundreds of buckets marched from the well to the pool and back again. The water was getting deeper and deeper. By now the little apprentice was swimming for his life. How he struggled to stay afloat. When the sorcerer's book of spells floated by, Mickey climbed on top of it. 
Turning the pages as best he could, he looked desperately for a spell that would stop the enchanted brooms. Just then, the book began to spin. Mickey was caught in a whirlpool. He felt himself being pulled down, down, down. The last thing Mickey heard as he went under the water was the thundering voice of the sorcerer. Mutatus, boomed the sorcerer from the top of the stone steps. Instantly, the water vanished and the army of marching brooms was no more. The sorcerer's apprentice knew he was in a lot of trouble. With a gulp, Mickey returned the magic hat to the sorcerer. Making a hasty exit, the sorcerer's apprentice felt himself being swooshed out of the room with the broom. Don't forget your broom, said the sorcerer. And if Mickey had looked, he would have seen the sorcerer smiling. Now I have a surprise for you. This is something that I put up sometimes, especially close to Halloween. And it's from this book. And I'm going to turn it on and let you watch the brooms as they dance. And that's Mickey at the top having his dream, thinking he's the best sorcerer in the whole world. Here we go.